What is freedom? Is freedom working every day, nine to five, just to have a roof over your head? Working so hard for money and possessions, but then you realize years have passed you by? Are you working to live or living to work? Life is short. We only have one life. Are you living it? After living the normal life, I made a choice to sell, donate, and give away 90% of my possessions for freedom. No chains to hold me down. My channel is all about how I built my tiny home on wheels and how I live in it with my dog, Charlie. So I can travel and see this beautiful country. Come and join me on my journey. So you've got a lot of money in the bank. It's not true, man. I mean, I've replaced so many things on this van since I bought it. Um, you know, my engine, brakes, rotors, you know, water pump, radiator. Um, there's always, always something, man. Always something. So just if you're, you know, thinking about getting into van life and you're actually traveling... Um, putting miles on your van, shit's going to break down. So, you know, and to all those other people that are living in a van <coughs> and they're just, uh, you know, staying put for the most part, trying to save money so they can hit the road and not have to work, y'all have to account for that as well. You know, um, keep that in mind. Like if you're sitting around the city and you're trying to save a whole bunch of money so when you do hit the road, you don't have to work. Remember, man, you know, you're not doing anything with your van if you're not sitting there re uh, replacing things and, and fixing things before you get on the road. You know, stuff's gonna happen. So, um, like I said, there's, there's always something. Um, I'm not stressed about it. I'm not mad about it or anything like that because I knew this was gonna happen. I knew that, you know, when you're living in a vehicle and you're putting mileage on it and you're driving it around, um, there's always going to be something to fix. So, you know, just keep that in mind, man. Van life is not free. Keep that in mind when you're traveling or, you know, so I'm going to be leaving tomorrow, which will be Sunday, uh, to go back to Virginia Beach. I'm going to be in Virginia Beach for a few days and then I'm going down to North Carolina for, um, Thanksgiving, so, so this was just a uh, little rest stop we found in Maryland. Um, we took a different route back from Pennsylvania than what we did on the way there. So uh, saw some different scenery and stuff like that, and it was pretty cool. So uh, this is a little spot in Maryland, a uh, little rest stop. All right, guys, so we're back in uh, Virginia. Uh, we had a little bit of a traffic jam for a little while uh, outside of D.C. Uh, it was a really bad accident. Um, so hopefully everybody's okay. But we are in Virginia Beach now and um, back at the golf course. Um, have to work tomorrow. 
uh, well, I mean, I don't think I have to work tomorrow, but, uh, but I'm going to be working tomorrow. So, um, but yeah, man, um, you know, van life's not free. There's this huge misconception that, uh, um, you know, you live in a van and you don't have all these other bills and all this other stuff. But, you know, if you guys are getting into van life or if you want to get into van life, you have to know. There's always going to be something that breaks down. Um, like I said earlier, um, I've replaced so many things in this van. Uh, and and so many things I didn't even mention in the first part. Um, but just little things, man. And that's not even counting all the things that you're buying um, to make this livable. You know, um, electric, a generator, solar panels, um, inverters, um there's so many things, man. But, you know, with that being said, as far as, you know, things that you need as essential things and stuff like that's one thing. But then the van itself, you have to remember the van is not only your transportation, but it's also your house, you know. Um, and I said this many, many moons ago, after I put in the motor, after I put in the engine, um, you know, I told friends and family and stuff like that. I was like, you know, no matter what breaks on this thing, I'm replacing it. So it's not really that big of a deal to me. You know, of course, at that point in time, when it happens, you're like, oh, crap, you know, whatever. But um, I'm just, you know, it's really not that big of a deal. And I've told many people before, um, even, you know, if the transmission goes, yeah, I'm going to be upset. I'm going to be like, oh, crap. So my phone died. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, if the uh, transmission dies, so be it, you know, um, I'll just replace it. Um, and that's just what you do, you know, um, like when you live in a house, you know, if your HVAC system goes out, you know, or if a window breaks or if you need to replace a door, you know, or whatever, I mean, you, you just fix it. That's what you do. It's the same thing with living in a van. Um there's so many things that you, you have, uh, to fix and stuff like that. So just, just know if you're getting into van life, um, or living in a vehicle, there's always something that breaks. There's always something you need to replace, you know, and you're not even thinking about the little things either, you know, I mean, windshield wipers and turn signals and headlights and, um, so many different things. Um, but as far as how much does van life cost, you know, to live in a van, how much does it cost? Well, everybody's going to be different. You know, um, I can't tell you if you ask me specifically, well, how much does van life cost? I can't tell you, you know, um, my situation is going to be different from this person or that person or this person or that person. Because everybody has their own different way of life. Everybody has their own um, different situation. You know, with my situation, um, you know, I live at a golf course while I'm in Virginia. I work at a golf course. Um, but I also travel on the weekends or take week trips here or week trips there. You know, stuff like that. Um, for those other people that live in a city that don't take trips that are just living in a city, have a full-time job and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, they're not, um, going through the breakdowns because they're not actually traveling, you know, and for some of those people that are living in the city and they're not doing those, you know, 500 mile trips or a thousand mile trips or, you know, stuff like that. Once they start doing that, you know, things are going to happen for them as well. So if you guys are living in the city trying to save money so you can travel and stuff, be ready for that. You know, I mean, my my suggestion would be um, honestly start replacing things when you have the money. Start replacing things while you're living in the city, say, you know, you move into a van and you want to get on the road in a year from now, 
Start replacing some things, checking things out, making sure your alternator's good, making sure your belt's good, making sure your radiator's good, making, you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of things, and, and, and I know some people don't want to replace things unless they actually break. You know, I got that. You know, I understand that. But just just know that once you start traveling, you know, things are going to happen. Um, and and it, it never fails, man. You know, you could... You can work on your brake system and your tires, right? And then say the next thing breaks down would be your battery or the next thing that breaks down is your alternator or the next thing that breaks down is your electrical system or um, there's always there's always something, you know, as soon as when you think you're like, all right, cool, oh, I got this, I got this, I got that. Next thing you know, you're driving down the road, you pull, pull in somewhere and someone's like, Hey man, your turn signal's not working. <laughs> now, granted, it's not expensive, a turn signal, but you know, like I said, it's always something. Um, how much does van life cost for me? I don't, I haven't even calculated it. To be honest, I haven't calculated the money that I've spent building the van, repairs on the van. Um, I haven't. I do know one thing though, my house or my home, my home's paid for. So, um, with all the repairs and all the things that I've done, um, I mean, it's less than 20 grand easy, you know? So, I mean, even with the purchase of buying the van, replacing the motor, all the things that I did to have comfort in the van um and i'm still not done building it <laughs> you know i uh i could have just sat stayed put you know while i was building the van and just kept working and building the van until it was completely done but why you know the idea of building this thing was a travel so that's what i've been doing the last two years granted i haven't done all the things i've wanted to do but um, I tell you what, I've enjoyed the hell out of the last two years. Um, exploring North Carolina, exploring different parts of Virginia that I'd never been to before. Um, you know, going to Pennsylvania a couple times. Uh, and and that's, that's just crazy to me, man. It's only a few states that I've been to, but it's so many different areas of each one of those states. Um, small towns in North Carolina I've never been to small towns in Virginia I've never been to um, things like that man so uh, just just know that get out there and do it man you know I mean I know some people out there are scared to take that leap and you know get away from their comfort zone because I'm the same way man I'm you know Virginia is my comfort zone I have a job here I have a place here and you know, stuff like that, but, um, it's, it's going to happen. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to start spreading my wings a little bit and, and getting further and further out there and going to state states that I've never been to and, and probably to states that I don't even know anybody. So, um, but yeah, um, so many different things, man. Uh, van life is, um, it all depends on how you, uh, how you live it. You know, I mean, some people can honestly survive off $500 a month. Some people can survive off a thousand dollars a month. It all depends on your situation. You know, if you're sitting still in a city where you have a job, yeah, I mean, come on, man. You know, if you're used to paying a thousand dollars a month in rent or, or whatever it might be, or bills and stuff like that. And now you're living in a van and you don't have to pay that. You should have money in the bank. <laughs> it should work out well. Um, but just know that um, it's not uh, it's not free, you know. And yes, I know. My beard is uneven. My little thing here. But anyway, so I'm in Virginia. And of course, now it's starting to rain. It's like 60-something degrees here in Virginia. I just left Pennsylvania. And now it's raining in Virginia. I'm, I'm like, oh my God. But anyway. Um, 
I'm just rambling now. But I appreciate you guys watching the video. Um, and uh, I really do appreciate the new subscribers. It's awesome. Um, I'm trying to think of something special or something cool to do for, you know, my 500 subscribers, my thousand subscribers, you know, stuff like that. And I was talking to a buddy about it today. Um, I'm trying to think of some ideas for that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, anyway, y'all have a good day, drive safe, and I will talk to you guys later. Go van life. <laughs>